line today regarding the sexual misconduct allegations against former Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. 30 women who have made claims or plan to make claims against a team have now settled with the organization. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota live at NRG Park tonight with details on the agreement and then what happens next. Andy? Daniela, the terms of the settlement are confidential. As for Deshaun Watson, his troubles are far from over. A neutral arbitrator has yet to make a decision in his NFL disciplinary hearing. Deshaun Watson is most assuredly not off the hook. KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says the settlement announced today is a win-win for everyone but the former Texans quarterback who was traded to the Cleveland Browns back in March. Watson is awaiting word on his possible suspension for all or part of the 2022 season. If Deshaun Watson manages to take a single snap from center in a Cleveland Browns uniform in 2022, it's a huge victory for DW4, Rusty Harden, in the NFL Players Association. The lawsuit accused the Texans of being aware of Watson's alleged behavior during massage therapy sessions. It also claimed the Texans provided Watson with resources for those sessions, including non-disclosure agreements. The Texans explained in a statement attributed to owners Janice McNair, Hannah, and Cal McNair, although our organization did not have any knowledge of Deshaun Watson's alleged misconduct, we have intentionally chosen to resolve this matter amicably. This is not an admission of any wrongdoing, but instead a clear stand against any form of sexual assault and misconduct. Tony Busby, who represents Watson's alleged victims, issued the following statement. I will have no further comment on the allegations or the Texans' role, other than to say that there is a marked contrast in the way in which the Texans addressed these allegations and the way in which Watson's team has done so. Weiss says the settlement certainly works in the Texans' favor in the court of public opinion. It gives them the opportunity with training camp a week or so away to look forward and not back and to try to convince the people who buy tickets that they are entering an entirely new and hopefully more successful chapter. The arbitrator could make a decision as soon as next week. Live outside NRG Stadium tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.